What's up guys, it's Dwayne from mountainbuck.com where we go from backyard to backwoods. And guys, I wanted to share this simple hack that I use to monitor the deer population on my property. Now, just a caveat, it's only going to work if you have Wi-Fi. So if you have Wi-Fi at your house and you kind of check deer out in your backyard like I do, uh, this is, might work for you, it's a pretty cool trick. So just to give you an idea of the setup I've got going on, check this out. You can see from this shot, I have a backyard here uh, fenced in backyard and just beyond that fence is a hill and so I have my deer feeder up there what's nice about this is I could sit in my living room on the couch I watch TV over here I turn to my left and I see the the deer rolling in to check out you know I could check them out all the time which is really nice to see but I'm not here all the time and I do want to see what's going on on my property at least up in this area here while I'm not here, while I'm sleeping or whatever. So I have the Blink Outdoor Camera System and I've posted one right here on that post, right? So this is just beyond the fence in my backyard. So it's probably about 20 yards or so from my house, shooting up at that deer feeder there and I get to see all kinds of stuff. And what's nice about it is I check it while I'm at work, I check it when I wake up in the morning. I just wanna see what kind of deer and other animals have rolled by here in this area. And then, you know, obviously go up and hunt them at some other time. So what I use are the Blink Outdoor wireless cameras. Now these connect to Wi-Fi. You don't have to use Blink, you could use you know whatever wireless cameras, Wi-Fi cameras uh, you want. Um, so the thing is, it's a little bit out further from my house and the Wi-Fi connection might not be ideal. So the other item I've got is, the, is a Wi-Fi extender. Just gonna extend the range of my Wi-Fi a little bit. So I use the Eero system. So I have an Eero Wi-Fi set up at my house. So I added on this Eero range extender. And what that does, it just pushes out my Wi-Fi signal just far enough, about 1500 square feet. It creates a mesh. Um, it pushes it out to this area so I could actually connect up my camera back there and watch what's going on at my feeder. You don't have to use the Eero system. You could certainly use you know, another type of range extender. I'll put some links to some in the description below along with the other stuff that I use. So check out some of the videos that I shot from my Blink outdoor camera that picked up for me uh, some of the stuff I got going on. This really helps me inventory the deer. It's also nice to document some big gobblers that I have coming in. It's always nice to see those big toms. Bear, we have bear coming in on camera. And the nice thing about this Blink camera is it also has pretty good night vision. Check these shots out. Guys, you just can't beat seeing those bucks rolling in, chasing the does during the rut. I mean, that kind of stuff gets me jacked up. And if you're at work watching this, you might just want to take a sick day because, you know, you might not be feeling so high. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> <clears throat> so let me walk you through the app side of things real quick. Check out the Blink app. Right here from the app's home screen, you can access your recorded clips and just click through each and every one of those to check them out if you want. Uh, right back over to the home area where you have your live camera feeds. You bring up this section which you can enable some controls on. You can check the battery life, temperature, uh, motion detection of course, uh, clip length. Uh, you could also check out the quality of your Wi-Fi and connection to the sync module. So there's a lot of stuff in here, some night vision and other things like that. So a lot of things you can kind of configure the way you want to on your camera. So that is how I keep an eye on my deer population while I'm away or sleeping or whatever. Really quick and easy system to use. Obviously I have other trail cams and stuff up in the mountain there, up in the woods, on my food plot and everything else. But this is my close to home 
deer monitoring, deer inventory situation I got going on. Guys, if you have any questions about this setup or whatever, just hit me up in the uh, comments section below. As always, the links to the guys we talked about are in the description below. Hook me up and hit subscribe, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out, and we'll see you on the next one.